Hey everyone, this is Harlan, and we are looking at installing the plugin now. You see, I find the plugin, I'm clicking install, then I click activate, and laser focused leads is installed. Okay, that's what I need to do, and then we're all set. We're, we're activating. Now I go to, over to Lego Focus Leads and I want to create a new quiz. So I click on that and I'm going to go ahead and give a name to the quiz. Okay, are you a frustrated teacher? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do five questions on a page. And now I'm going to create a header for the beginning of the test. Let's type. I'm going to make lots of mistakes. If this sounds weird, it's because I'm recording it after I did it. The sound didn't take. So I'm redoing it for you. Okay, are you a frustrated teacher? My spelling is a problem here and take this quiz and find out. Okay, now let's make it look gorgeous, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make that bold. And we're gonna take the second one and we're gonna make it italics. And then, you know what, we can even do better than that. Let's click over to um, the drop down menu Let's make that, instead of just bold, let's make that an H2. And that italics, let's go ahead and make that an H4. And there we go, and I'm ready to save that. So far, so good, pretty easy. All right, we have created the quiz. Now we go up, and we want to click here to manage your quiz. So we're doing that. We're managing the quiz. And there's the quiz. So now we're going to do our questions. We click questions. And we're going to start adding the questions. Okay. Well, the person who's cited is wrote the questions up. So I'm going to be doing some copying and pasting. The first question is I decided to become a teacher because I wanted to make a difference in children's lives. This is obviously a no-brainer for people. I click Add, next one. Okay, I go back to my sheet. I copy the next one. I believe I could do a more effective job teaching if there weren't so many rules and red tape preventing me from teaching. Again, these are no-brainers. I paste it in. Let's go to the next one. Go back, I copy the next question. Uh, I believe I know that kids are being left behind and yet my hands are tied. Okay, these are sucker questions for teachers. Next one uh, My classroom is a warm and friendly place where students feel welcome. In other words, any normal teacher is either going to strongly agree or agree to this. If they don't, um, they're either having a bad day and they, they, they beat the dog and kiss their wife or something like that. Um, I'm afraid my retirement won't be there and my premium will be uh, taken, will be reduced. My pension will be reduced. There we go. Let's go to the next one. These are all sucker questions. I feel we've gotten away from the basics of education and are simply teaching to the test. You probably all heard about state-based tests. There we go. Next question, come back, we're up to question seven. It's simply not possible to take time explaining a, a subject students are interested in with the time allotted, okay? Uh, so much weight placed on testing. So we're going to go ahead and get the last eight, nine, and ten. Performance pay has affected how I do my job. This is a big issue for teachers. We paste that in. Okay, this is pretty easy. Let's go get the next one, number nine. Teaching to a test is ruining education. If you're a teacher, you probably feel that way. Okay, we paste it. 
And let's go get the last question, which is, I decided to become a teacher, not for the money, but for the joy of helping a child get it, that light bulb moment. If they don't like this, they're not a teacher. They're in the wrong thing. Okay, let's, we could add, but we're just going to go now. We're going to go save the changes. And it's saving. And there, that's all we need. We have now done um, the questions. Now we need the answers. Okay, let's go take a look at the settings. Waiting for it to load. That's all done. Let's go to answers now. And that's set up strongly agree, um, somewhat agree, neutral, etc. Those are perfect. Now let's go to the results. And this is based on calculating. We're going to add a new group up at the top. Okay. Up at the top. Harlan, look up at the top. There you go. I knew you'd get it sooner or later. Okay, so I add a new group, and we have the names of the groups over there. That's group one. I copy the name of the group that the site owner wants. Now, this is from 40 to 49 would be the score 40 to 50. I do this every single time. I type that in when I shouldn't. Okay. Um, and now um, uh, I give them um, an answer. You know, congratulations, you're a frustrated teacher. Here's how to get unfrustrated. Um, and then I invite them to opt in. And again, you can make this look as good as you like. You can make it in color. You can... Uh, do paragraph format. We can tell you seem very frustrated. Enter your email address and we'll show you how you can quickly and easily change this. Okay, all right. Um, now I have to copy in the AWeber code. So this is what you're gonna see is gonna be pretty boring, be copying and pasting the AWeber code three pages at a time. I'd sing to you, but I have to go back and do them one at a time. you know any good jokes? So you have to go back and get the first page. There we go. One page at a time. Thank you. Copy. Now we come back over and paste. Let's go down. Okay, next page. Copy and paste. Okay, we're going to go back one more time for that. Copy. Go down a line, copy and paste. There we go. Add that group. We're done. That's group one. There are only going to be three groups in this one. Okay, now we have to add another group. We go and we get the name of the second group. Come paste it in. Here we're going to go from 30 to 39. Sooner or later I'll learn, guys. Okay, now I'm going to type in 
that they're not quite as frustrated. You're, you're pretty frustrated, but you're, you're not totally hopeless yet. Okay, using pretty frustrated as teacher, enter email address. Now I'm going to go copy the codes from the second page. All right, we're going to go back and forth. Here we go, back and forth, putting the code in. All right, now we're adding the third and final group. I know this is really exciting, guys. Stay with me. And finally, uh, you seem to be getting some satisfaction as a teacher because these are not good candidates. And it's not, it's, you see I did the score range from 0 to 29. It's going to tell me that we can't have a 0 score, so I'm going to have to change that to 1. Or um, You might want to check this out. These are the people we don't have high hopes for. These are people who find teaching fulfilling even though they're not getting anything done. You might want to consider an alternative, and we're not going to follow up extensively with these folks. All right, and then we're going to go back and forth, and we're going to um, um, copy the last thing. I'm going to pause. Okay. We're all done. You didn't need to see me do that yet again. Okay, I'm going to create a page now. Went up on top, create page. And um, I have to look for it. This is a new theme. I've never used this theme. This is Optimize Press. We go down, we go down, we go down. And keep going, keep going. Oh, laser focus leads. Are you, we want to add a quiz. Now, I can't tell that it's actually worked when I clicked it, so I click it again. I go back up and look at it, and it's added the quiz twice, so we're going to delete it. I should be giving it a name right now, but I didn't. I'm going to publish it, and I see that there's no name on the page. Wait a minute. Um, let's go ahead. It saves. And we have a weird post name, so we're going to change that. We're going to call this page the teacher, um, the teacher Quiz. And we're going to change the page to the Teacher Quiz.
Okay. All right, let's go take a look. Let's update it. Let's view the page, and you're going to see that there's a problem because I did something stupid, but I'm going to show you, and you might as well learn from my mistake. View the page. And I get quizzes disabled. Well, duh, Harlan. Okay, let's stop it. And now we're going to come back. Okay, um, I need to activate it, okay? So I activate it. Now let's go. The quiz is activated in the My Quizzes section. Now let's look at the teacher quiz, view, and we're all done. That's basically it. looks pretty good. Let's look at page two. You see the questions. These are all sucker questions. I've already gone over the questions with you. Um, but that's pretty much it. Each guy, I know my, my kids are being left behind, yet my hands are, are tied. Next check out the second page, okay? And then again, they don't know how many questions there is, that there are, sorry about that. Um, and then if they if these were filled in, it would take them to the opt-in. Test your opt-ins to make sure that they go into the different uh, groups in, in AWeber or whatever autoresponder you use. And away you go. Simple, easy, schmeasy. Um, all right. Hope this helped.